Now let's talk a little bit about code reviews. In this screen we've used the get year half expression to determine which half of the year the date belongs to. Now that expression is not only relevant to this date or to this screen, it might be relevant anywhere else in my application. In um, Magic, I would probably find myself writing it over and over again in every screen that I use, making it more difficult to change and maintain in the future. Whereas in .NET, I can leverage the object-oriented uh, design and advantages to just write it once and use it everywhere. Let's see how we do it. So, we'll have a look at the order date. The order date column is based on a type called date. Okay, and this is the code for the type. We can see that it's a date column and the default is an empty date. Okay, and in our show orders we can see the get year half method. What I would like to do now, I would like to move this method from here to the type. Okay, so let's open these screens one below the other. Okay, we see we have at the bottom the type, at the top our code. We'll take this method, copy it, and paste it in our type. Okay, now because we are now in the context of our type, we need to change the orders.order date definition over here to be this, because we are referencing to the current date object. Let's build it and see what we've got. Now, when we switch over to the design view and open the data binding screen, I can see that within my orders entity, each and every date now has a small plus in it. And in that plus, we can select the get year half method from there. So now, not only did I move the code to the type, I can use it for all different dates as I would require. So let me just change it to the get year half, switch back to my show orders code and remove the get year half method because I no longer need it here, and run this. Okay, you can see that I got the same behavior, but now the code exists in one place that I can reuse according to object-oriented best practices.